guys, what is the best way to celebrate a brand new set? How about an infinite combo? What is going on everybody and welcome back to yet another standard gameplay video in the brand new set Streets of New Capenna. We are having a blast already. We have played a deck that I created that I thought was amazing uh, and it did go undefeated. I highly recommend you check that out. But today we are taking a look at a little gruel list here created by Spinneraptor. Now if you don't know who Spinneraptor is, he is our uh, one of our mods in our Discord chat. Uh, a fantastic individual, very, very good deck builder, uh, and he absolutely loves Bergy. <laughs> uh, if you're watching Spinner Raptor, you know what I'm talking about. You have built so many decks around Bergy, it's insane. Uh, but we've got a new one today, uh, and this one really utilizes a couple of new cards from the new set. So, first and foremost, we've got Witty, Witty Roast Master. So, whenever another, excuse me, creature enters the battlefield under your control, it deals one damage to each opponent. Sounds pretty good, right? So how do we actually combo off? Well, if we have Bergy down, we can play Grinning Ignis. Uh, we gain a red mana from doing that, which we can use to bounce the Grinning Ignis back to our hand. And then when we do that, we actually get three mana to replay the Grinning Ignis. When we replay it, we get to bounce it back and you can return that back and forth as much as you want. Well, every time it hits the battlefield, Witty Roastmaster is just gonna ping the opponent for one and eventually kill them. Uh, which is a pretty sick way of winning the game, in my opinion. Uh, now, we do have also uh, Devilish Valet, which is kind of an interesting one. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you actually double uh, the power of this. So this actually gives you an alternate way of winning. So there's actually six uh, uh, pieces that hopefully can win you the game. Uh, and this is a really interesting one as well. So obviously, you know, you go back and forth. Uh, this continuously doubles its power uh, to a ridiculous point. And then with Trample and Haste, it can actually come down very, very quickly and finish off the game. Uh, everything else in the deck is kind of built around ramping into it. So, so we've got Goldhound, we've got Jespera Sentinel. Uh, the Prosperous Innkeeper throwing out a little uh, treasure token helps us out. And then, of course, Magda uh, Brazen Outlaw does the same. Uh, to help protect things, we do have Tamiya's Safekeeping. Giving Indestructible and Hexproof to something is really important. Uh, gaining the life is fine, but it's really just about protecting the combo pieces. Uh, Adventure Oasis is going to help us dig through the deck to hopefully get to what we need. And then Cathartic Pyre is a nice, uh, a nice little way of either dealing with a creature or Planeswalker on the opponent's side or drawing us into more stuff. Uh, Valakut Awakening as well plays a very similar role and then everything else is the combo piece. <laughs> um, this is an interesting deck, guys. I really am excited for this one. Again, I can't thank Spinneraptor enough for putting this one together. Uh, thank you very much, Spinneraptor, you're amazing. We're gonna jump in. We're gonna see if we can make this combo happen, guys. I think it's a fun one. Hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully we can get some wins with it. So let's jump right in. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And this is a really good keep, actually. So we've got the ramp pieces. We've got the safekeepings here, but more importantly, we've got the adventure awaits. So hopefully we can get there uh, by digging further into the deck. The outlaw is going to give us a treasure token. We've even got the ramp off the sentinel. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. That might be even better. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll just throw this out. Uh, give ourselves that treasure token. And I guess we'll go ahead and ramp into the outlaw. Uh, let's just get everything on the field here just to help gain us into uh, whatever we might be drawing next turn. Again, we can drop that Adventure Awaits and really start to push things, uh, hopefully in this upcoming turn. This is a very goldfishy deck though, uh, very, very focused on just getting the combo piece going. So we're gonna hope that works out. Let's go ahead and Adventure Awaits before we do anything. Uh, yeah, so I think we just take a, a Roast Master here. There's not really a huge reason not to. Go ahead and play for the red side of things. Um, and I think we'll just attack with the uh, outlaw here. Excellent. Um, this does allow us to go ahead and play the roast master, which I am gonna do. Uh, again, we do really need to get all the combo pieces on the field as quickly as we can, and this gives us the ability to do so. So we'll see how this goes. Opponent looks like they're a little burnt out, but unfortunately, we kind of are too. <laughs> uh, we're not in a great place here. Um, so what can we do? Uh, weirdly, I mean, what we could do is just kind of attack in and hope for the best, which I actually think we do because we've got double safekeeping available. We're being overly aggressive because we just don't have anything else to really do. Um, and so we're, we're kind of hoping for the best here. 
uh, by doing so, but we'll see. Uh, if they have a counter, it's fine, because again, we just have a backup safekeeping. My my goal here is to kind of burn them out of stuff. They've only got two lands available. They did not play one last turn. Uh, and so we're in a position where if we keep the pressure up, uh, they may not be able to recover, uh, which is very crucial um, against this style deck. So let's, uh, let's try and force the issue here. May not work. I don't know, but we're burnt out anyway, so we really don't have much else we can do. They're going to return this. Uh, and put two 1-1 one -one counters. Um, I, I kind of think that's fine. I don't know why they would return it if they were hoping to kill it. That seems a little odd, but I will take it, I guess. Uh, we gain a life out of the deal, and now again, we just leave up the safekeeping and hope for the best. Uh, they do get an attack in, which is fair, but we're, oh, I guess not. Uh, okay, that is perfect. Let's see what we can get here. Adventure awaits. There's the Grinning Ignis, which is very, very good. Um, do we just go ahead and play it? I figure, I guess, why not? Right. You can only activate this as a sorcery, by the way, so that is very crucial. Um, but we actually gain a life and they lose a life in this process, which is really sick. Um, I'm actually just going to pass with the safekeeping up, I think, here. Um, I know we could bounce the Ignis back. I'm not interested in doing it right this second. I'd rather have the safekeeping up to, to protect a combo piece. I did want to go ahead and play this because, again, if we get to the point where we just draw... I'm going to... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm not positive that this is the right thing, um, but I'm going to do it. Uh, mostly because it gets rid of the scry, which I feel like is really important when they're searching for lands. Again, I'm being overly aggressive with our safekeepings here just because of that. Um, and because we're, I mean, we've gotten a lot closer, but the last couple turns, we've been a little far away from the actual combo. So we have to kind of hope we're doing the right thing. That was a great draw from the opponent, giving them a basic land. Oh, <laughs> all right, sick. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> hey, we did it. Uh, so this is the combo. <laughs> uh, technically, this is also an infinite life combo because of the Prosperous Innkeeper, but, uh, yeah, we, uh, we did the thing, guys. That was just such a lucky draw. That was insane. All right, sick. So now we do this 11 times and win the game. Pardon me while I sip my coffee. Trying to be silly. All right, let's do it. I mean, we we good game them here. There it is. Okay, they showed us the GG. Are they just gonna make us do it? I think they are. <laughs> That's fine. I can't believe it worked. Uh, that was such a lucky draw. Honestly, there were only a couple draws in the deck that really would have made a huge difference that turn. Bergy was obviously the best, but uh, Adventure Awaits would have done it. Like, Cathartic Pyre, I guess, would have been okay. Well, no, because don't we have to discard first? Yeah, it wouldn't have worked. Um, so, honestly, that was pretty solid. Um, just gonna, just going to burn him out real quick, guys. This is just the combo. This is all we're trying to do. I can't believe it works game one, but I'm really stoked for it. Uh, this is so sick. Spinner Raptor, you created a heck of a little deck here. Uh, this is a fun one. All right. All right. Do they have? Do they have a, a one mana counter? Looks like no. And there we go, guys. We win zero to forty. That was amazing. Let's jump into a game two. What's up, guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just want to remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash itresolves.
All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, how do we feel about this? Weirdly okay, uh, solely because of the Prosperous Innkeeper. Otherwise, I would never keep this, uh, as well as the Sentinel, I guess. Um, this is a bit of a tricky one, though, because we... Ah, uh, portable hole immediately. Okay, fair enough. All right, red land is very, very helpful. Uh, so really, we're just missing a single combo piece, and that's it. We also have Besiju, who, if we need to, can attack a portable hole here. We don't really need it to at this point, so I'm not terribly worried about it. But it is certainly a possibility. Um, another red land. I will take it. And I think I just throw the Grinning Ignis out here. Not really worried about them killing the first one, so if they want to, that's fine. Um, we've got a second, which is why I'm kind of playing this one out a little bit safer. Yeah, exactly. So they're going to go ahead and take that. That's fine. I'm not going to block. Adventure awaits. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to do that because we do need a combo piece here. Uh, there are two of them. Uh, the question is which? Let's view battlefield. Okay. I think we just go for the same thing again. I'm going to go this route. I'll try and throw the Roast Master out. If they have another Skyclave Apparition, that's really unfortunate. Um, but I do kind of think we have to have to go for it here. They do have, we know of the environmental sciences, so maybe they're trying to do that this turn. And if they are, that's fine. Okay, sick. That's great, uh, actually. So we're a few mana short here. Uh, we're not going to get to do it this turn which is really unfortunate. Um, that's also very helpful. So what is the play here? We can just Bergy, uh, which I think is probably the play. Nope. Uh, this just sets us up for the upcoming turn. The trick is basically if they have removal, we're pretty dead. Not dead, but like we're kind of out of luck. If they don't have removal, we're in great shape. Um, so here's the hoping. We had a professor. They get to go ahead and throw that out. That's great. Uh, the restoration is such a good card. Oh no. All right. Well, they're going to reduce uh, to Ash. Maybe? Yeah. Okay. So they put the land in hand first and then they reduce to the memory. I said reduced Ash and that's totally not what this is. <laughs> no, they're not. Oh my God. They didn't go for it. Why didn't you go for it? Wow, that was really silly on the opponent's end. Uh, we'll just be... No, 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 no. That way. Uh, this leaves up the safekeeping. That was really stupid by the opponent. Uh, we just win now. Um, we return to hand. We play. <laughs> I can't believe it. They had it. They had the win. Not the win, but like they had the way to stop the combo, uh, but they didn't. I can't believe that. That was ridiculous. All right, well, here we go, guys. We got 18 more shots at this. <laughs> um, we may also, I do, okay, there we go. Let's go for one more. It's only been 14, 15 minutes. Uh, let's go for one more. We're only going to do three with this because we, we've seen the combo work twice at this point. So let's see what we can do. All right, guys, here we are for our third game. Uh, do we like this hand? Here's my thing. This does very little right now. Um, part of me wants to try it. We'll see. We may be costing ourselves an undefeated run here, though. Uh, which would suck. That helps. Ooh, excuse me. Um, that really helps, actually, because now they can't attack just freely with this. They just kind of have to sack it, uh, which is fine by me. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to attack. We don't need to attack in this deck. We can play defensively and then work our way into the combo. So I'm really not worried about that. They had the deadly dispute anyway. All right, sick. Um, I am really happy we got the Jaspera Sentinel. That is a, 
an early benefit, but uh, it's still not great. Like, we're still not doing anything with it. Looks like Esper. Oh, yes. 100% <laughs> killing that. Um, goodbye. I can't let that sit on the field. That's a really, really good card that they're going to try and go for long term. So I'm like, all right, we, we can go ahead and finish that one off right now. Um, so it really doesn't matter which land we play here. I'm going to go ahead and play the Bergy. Uh, and now we have the safekeeping available. Uh, so if they do decide to sweep for whatever reason, we can at least keep the Bergy on the field. Um, Okay, they just have another wedding announcement. That's fine. Um, again, what we're doing is slowing them down. That's the entire goal right now is to, to slow them down as best we can and just get to the combo pieces. Thankfully, we've got most of them in hand, but we are short a little here, so uh, we'll be semi-safe about this. Uh, at some point, that it is worth considering playing the artifact here. So we have one, two, three available. Um, I will go ahead and attack here for three, I guess. I don't really see a huge reason not to. If they've got a thing to pump it up, it doesn't matter. We have the safekeeping. Oh, they're just going to sack it. Okay, that's fine. Bit of an aggressive move on our end, but we actually have a way to replay the Fergie, basically, since we have a double up, so wasn't really upset about it. I think next turn we definitely want to play the Horn of Bounty here, just so we can start uh, start doing a little something. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this. Protect it. Excellent. Uh, just go ahead and pretend Vanishing Burst never happened. <laughs> Uh, yeah, having the, the Tamiya safekeeping is such a great option in this deck. Uh, normally I wouldn't fight as heavily over this, by the way, uh, knowing that we've got another in hand, but the important thing here is that with the Horn of Bounty, we can find the missing combo pieces, and that's really what we kind of need to do here, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, so we'll play for red. We'll do this. Um, and what do we do? I really am not 100% sure. Um, part of me just wants to play out the Magda, but the other part of me is like, nah, we can just, just not. <laughs> um, we don't have enough to really utilize this quite yet, so I think we're just in the, the limbo waiting game. Uh, crucially, what we can do is use this at instant speed. So if we're looking for, you know, like a, I don't know. Yeah, so let's do it now. Let's try this. There's a safekeeping. Um, and that's exactly what we needed. So now we can auto pay. We'll tap Bergy, I suppose. So now this gains. Yeah, so that's exactly why. <laughs> That was really important. Um, sure, you can attack for one. I don't particularly care. All right, sick. So now wedding announcement does flip, which is a bit terrifying. Um, so we're just in the camp of needing grinning Ignis. So we do this. Fortunately did not get there uh, and we can't attack. All right. Uh, so chances are they just get to flashback the, uh, the Rite of Oblivion, and at this point, the Horn, I don't think, is actually the card they should go for, but looks like it is, uh, which is fine by me, because at least we get to keep our combo pieces. Um, the Horn's just helping us get there, so... <laughs> that could have been a lot worse. Um, if they had exiled Bergy or the Witty Roastmaster, I think Bergy was definitely the one they should have exiled, but that's fine. All right. Give me a Grinning Ignis, please. No, 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 no. Uh, all right, well, we just have to go this route um, and play it out. At the very least, we are now doubling up on the Witty Roastmasters, which is relevant. Um, we're not gonna attack. They're not going to emblem yet, so we've got a little while. Hopefully we can find the combo piece before then. 
I'm I'm slowly losing hope in this. Oh yeah, we're definitely dead now. <laughs> uh, sick. Yeah, Meat Hook Massacre is just way too good. There's nothing we can do about that. Uh, we've lost, what, two Burgies so far? One there. One there. We've lost a couple of our roast. Oh, no! It was in our... Oh, that really sucks. That really, really sucks. It was the next card. It was the next card! Uh, that feels so bad. I can't believe it. Um, obviously, we don't just run this out. They can probably kill it um, or at least get close. So at this point, we're not. Why did they do this attack first and then do that? You don't have to discard a card. That was just a misplay with Kaito, uh, which is fine by me. <sighs> one more turn. Um, we can't do it in one more turn, realistically. They've got mascot exhibition that they're going to drop down. There you go. I don't know why they didn't do that the first time. That was silly. Um, Kaito draws card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have mascot exhibition mana. All right. We just concede here. Sad, sad day. We were one card away. I can't believe that. All right. Let's talk about this deck. All right. So first and foremost, again, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to Spinneraptor for putting this amazing deck list together. We did get to see it pop off twice in a row. In fact, we were literally, literally a card away in that last game. That to me is hilarious. Uh, regardless, this is a fun one. Um, one thing I will say is obviously a glass cannon. It's very much focused on just getting the combo together. You do have some protection elements with the safekeeping, uh, and that actually helped us out quite a bit in, in almost every game. Uh, but it is something that, you know, if you just run out of safekeepings, you're kind of out there and you have to really hope that you can you can force your way through. Uh, I think because there are things like Meat Hook Massacre, Doom Scar, a lot of uh, sweepers in the deck, or, or excuse me, in the meta, uh, and with the addition of like Esper being a really positive uh, or a really good deck right now, I think. Um, I think this is going to be a tricky one to really pull off. That being said, we did it twice. So, ha, that was really fun. Uh, Spinner Raptor, thank you so much, my man. I really do appreciate you sending uh, some deck lists our way. We will, I am sure, see some more from Spinner Raptor in the coming weeks. But uh, this one was a blast. I highly recommend it. Not a ton of new cards in this one, aside from the Roastmaster and the, the other little devil guy. Um, but it is a really, really sick deck. So thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Almost an undefeated run. We were very close, but very, very fun. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you later.